Well, an Alabama police officer is in the hospital in very critical condition this morning. That's after a shooting in Birmingham early Sunday morning left a second officer dead. The officers were responding to a call about a suspected car break-in when it happened. We're just two weeks into the new year and already seven officers across the country have been killed in the line of duty. Our Diane Gallagher has more. A pretty routine call early Sunday morning to check out some suspected car break-ins in Birmingham, Alabama. The officers approached one suspect, uh, patted him down where they found what they believed to be a weapon, asked him about it. He armed himself and fired upon our officers. Two Birmingham police officers have been struck. Sergeant Waitasha Carter, an Air Force veteran with 17 years in law enforcement, did not return home from that routine call. There is a suspect in custody. The 44-year-old husband and father is the fourth police officer shot and killed on duty or in uniform across the country this year. Three others have been hit and killed by vehicles while responding to calls. Seven officers just 13 days into 2019. On Thursday in California, Davis police officer Natalie Corona was responding to a triple car crash when a gunman on a bicycle shot her multiple times. The 22-year-old rookie officer, whose father was a retired sheriff sergeant, was described as, quote, a rising star in the department. Investigators say Kevin Limbaugh, the man suspected of killing Officer Corona, left a note before taking his own life. Rookie officer Shateri Payne was headed to her shift Wednesday when she was gunned down in uniform while getting into her car in front of a home in Shreveport, Louisiana. After graduating from the academy in November, the 22-year-old posted on Facebook, my personal mission is to become that positive influence to protect those who can't protect themselves and to at least try to push someone to being a better version of themselves. Investigators are still trying to determine what led to her killing. No arrests have been made. On January 5th in Utah, Master Officer Joseph Shinners was shot and killed while arresting a fugitive. The Provo Police Chief described the 29-year-old as a scrapper who wasn't afraid to get in there and take the bad guy to jail. His family described their grief at losing, quote, a brother, friend, and all-around hero. The suspect is in custody. Three others have been killed after being hit by vehicles while on duty. Officer Clayton Townsend of the Salt River Police Department Tribal Police in Arizona, Illinois State Police Trooper Christopher Lambert, and Colerain Township Police Officer Dale Woods. Our thanks to Diane Gallagher for that report. Well, the